So we're going to be talking about some big boys today and some big pre-orders and reissues that are happening in our Transformer world starting in this Monday. First one we're going to jump right into here on the Transformer Slag podcast is Preview Magazine has just dropped in your local comic book shops and pre-orders are all over the place for different products. But one specifically that we did not know about, Super 7 has put out a pre-order in Preview Magazine and on their digital platforms of a brand new Transformers reaction figure, in this case continuing what Super 7 is doing with their massive amount of repaints of pre-existing molds that they've done, their Devastator reaction figure, which is uh, slightly larger than your standard reaction at that 3-inch. Now this one's a 6-inch figure, and they've done it before in traditional colors, and now they're going to be doing it in the Diaclone Constructicon Vehicle Robo, the 1984 homage colors from back in the day, the pre-G1 colors, if you will, uh, for Devastator. So you're going to get them in the Devastator colors from the old design, as well as the Magna Laser in that purple color scheme. And from what they list here, it's instead going to be coming in a oversized window box packaging. So probably that might be homaging that old uh, Diaclone Devastator packaging, which also had a kind of a Western release in the bootleg market. That's kind of how I got mine all those years ago. So this is going to be happening for $25. Pre-orders are dropping right now. And according to Preview Magazine, pre-orders will close on November 4th, 2024, and will be hitting stores December 20 25th, 2024. So just in time for Christmas to get yourself a little non-transformable custom little Devastator with the Diaclone colors. Pretty, pretty cool. Next up, here's the big news. We got two big, brand new reissues of Titan classes from the past if you missed out. Uh, primary reason is Hasbro just needs to keep those trademarks alive and, you know, big doing these big guys, that's one way to keep those trademarks alive. First one we got here popped up first on Hasbro Pulse and later all the partner websites, a big pre-order for the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Titan class Scorponok getting a big old reissue. Now this guy originally when he came out in 2020 was pretty difficult to get because, well, it was the big V. It was tough to get into retail. He was hard to get. And when he was on any kind of online platform, whether it be Amazon or whatever, he would sell out very quickly. And if you were a mint and box collector, they were at the time they were slapping shipping labels right on your, your Scorponok box and throwing it in front of your house. It was a mess. Now you're going to get an opportunity to pick him up. Now, granted, originally his MSRP was $159.99, and then the secondary market got crazy with him, going for easily more than double of his MSRP, going at $350 to $400 in the secondary market, literally just as of a couple weeks ago. But now on uh, Hasbro Pulse, although it recently has sold out on Hasbro Pulse, but is still available for pre-order on all the other partner websites, you could pre-order your Titan class Scorponok, get your chance to finally get this big boy for $199.99, 200 bucks. Yep, it's a little bit of a $40 MSRP increase with inflation today, but it's a lot cheaper than what we've been seeing in the secondary market of just a couple weeks ago. In my opinion, good investment. Even if you buy it at 200 bucks, you know what's going to happen in a couple of years. This guy's going to go up in value. Big Transformers always go up in value when they have a uniqueness of design. And this is no different with this case with the Scorponok. And then we got another one here today. This one is going to be a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Also keeping that trademark alive. Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Titan Class Omega Supreme with little Micro Master Countdown. This is also a reissue straight up. This was a guy that came out in late 2019, so while he didn't have too much of a difficulty in the retail market, once the Big V really kicked off in February, March, there was no uh, clearance kicking around. There was no extra stock kicking around, so he was later on tough to get. And because he's a very popular, iconic 1985 character, the secondary market got really crazy with him. At one point, literally as of just a few weeks ago, was selling between $400 and $450. And considering, again, $159.99 was his MSRP in 2019, more than double, almost triple what he used to cost 
back in the day he was being sold for just a couple of weeks ago. So now you also get an opportunity through Big Bad Toy Store to get this reissued, $199.99, 200 bucks, a fraction of what the secondary market is asking for. So you can get this iconic character, makes a cool MicroMaster playset, comes with the countdown figure, very, very cool. So both of these, the pre-orders are up right now. The uh, Scorponok is going to be shipping out in 2025 of uh, September. So you're going to have to wait more than a year. And it's the same thing with the Omega Supreme. It's going to be more than a year at also September 2025. But these two will have you locked in. You won't have to worry about the crazy secondary market that's going on with these guys. But that's it, more or less. Three big titan titan items if you will if anything i mean two of them are actually titans one of them is just a big old boy but in the reaction scale so if you missed out on your opportunity with some of these guys here's a good transformer finance opportunity pick up these guys as cheap as you could possibly get them right now and definitely if you sit on them they're definitely going to go up in value if history has taught us anything let me know what you think about all of these and we'll talk again very soon here on the transformer slag podcast it's only the beginning of the week Oh, <laughs>